Mm. What else can I say that is trifling about myself? See what I'm saying? How hard this can be? Hey, cute people. As you can see, I'm trying to come up with 10 trifling facts about myself. It's not easy. <laughs> There's a lot of tags going around, and I've taken interest in quite a few of them, but I thought this was just so cute. I don't know if it was a tag, but I saw a video by Fly One, and she watched, I believe it was Ray Rose's video, and I will include those two videos down in the description box below so you can check them out. But I thought this was just so cute, so of course I wanted to partake in the video making of this video but 10 trifling facts okay let's see and oh before i begin this is in no particular order one two i hope that when you finish watching this video that you will also share something trifling about yourself nothing hard or embarrassing just really cute light and fun which is what i'm gonna do so in no particular order the first thing i want to share with you that is really trifling I know that it is. It's something I do to my youngest son. My youngest son and I, from time to time, we like to get the um, pineapple from the vegetable stand. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And those usually come in a tub. It's like $2. If you live in New York, you're probably familiar with it because you can find the Mexicans. They sell it on the street, too. And um, they taste delicious, especially when the pineapple is in season, juicy, da 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 But now when we get them here at the house, yeah, I'll sneak and eat my son's. I don't think he knows because he doesn't pay attention. Um, what I'll do is if I want whatever it is that I want, I won't use my fingers and dig into it because that's nasty. But I will definitely take a fork. And if I want to, I'll use two forks because I won't double dip because it's not mine. But when I have one in the refrigerator, I'll let him know you bets not, not better not, you bets not touch my pineapple. I hope he didn't hear me say any of this or look at this video or play it or anything because they do know but i love pineapple i'll eat all of mine and then turn around and sneak some of his too but i'll do it whereas it'll look like um no one's been in it so i'll move the slices the chunks around a little bit so he won't be able to say somebody in it yes i do that and it's trifling but i don't care because the pineapple is good mm -hmm. Yes, the second thing that's trifling about myself, I have to say, my son says that's a shame. I will not buy much of anything unless it's on sale. I don't care what it is. I can go into a store. If I see a dress that I like, I will not buy it until I see that it's on sale. So if Macy's is not having a sale or Staples is an issue, a coupon, or it's not on sale at Rite Aid, I'm not buying it. I look at people who buy things at full price like they are crazy. Are you kidding me? Now, there are some things that I will buy at full price because we know some things just never seem to go on sale. But that's okay. If I want it, then I have to buy it. If I don't want to spend the money for it, then I won't buy it. I do think that's trifling because I miss out on so much. I'm telling you, I will not buy certain things unless it's on sale. Beauty products. Now, certain things I will buy, again, like I said, if I really want it, but other than that, I'm waiting for a sale. I think that is trifling. Because then you're always waiting for a sale. Buy the full price items sometimes. Most of the times. A lot of the times. No, I don't think so. The third thing that is trifling about me. Oh, this is really trifling. I'm the, I, I think you will agree. That depending on the show and what it is. Most of the time it's a movie. I will rearrange my schedule. So I can watch a movie I want to see on television. Mm -hmm. I'll do that. Yes, I may DVR it, but if it's a certain type of movie, yeah, I've done that a couple of times. I don't do that all the time, but I think it's trifling because even while I'm doing it, I said to myself, now you know, girl, you need to just keep that appointment, that meeting, get out of here, do whatever. You want to rearrange it to watch a movie. I don't think I'm the only one because there are some things that, um, you are not going to see on TV often. Like if Carmen Jones comes on, and a lot of times it'll come on t um, on Sunday. If I can't or have something to do, mm -hmm, I don't want to DVR it. I could. And sometimes I may. But every time that movie comes on and you know it doesn't come on often, I am definitely, you hear me, rearranging my schedule. And that is trifling to live your life by a movie. I have expired food in my cabinet.
yeah, my son, I keep telling him, go through the cabinets and give me everything that's expired. But, you know, I see things that's on sale. Yeah, I see it on sale. I intend to use it. I buy it. And then time goes by and I never use it. Things like breadcrumbs, because sometimes you get it like two for $5. Well, here in New York, you can. So I'll buy it with the intention of using it. I never even opened it. Um, spaghetti, um, sauce, pill. Um, tomatoes and a big old can and I got it at a great price. I bought it with intentions to use it but I don't use it and it's still in my cabinets and my son be like mom you got to get rid of this stuff and for some reason I know that I'm not going to eat it but I don't get rid of it. I think that's trifling because apparently I have some type of um, affection for expired canned goods. Yeah I'll work on that. Product junkieism. I think that's trifling. You know why? Because you buy this stuff. I know I do, again, on sale. Some not on sale, but most on sale. And I have some stuff that I've never even opened. That's a shame. And you all do it. I know I'm not the only one. Buy it because you're dying to have I've got to get it. I've got to get it. And you forget about the stuff that you just bought last week. And you're going to forget about the stuff that you um, packed away somewhere, have stashed somewhere because the new stuff is here and you still may not even get a chance to use all that stuff. To me, that's trifling because when you think about all the makeup that you buy, hair products that you have that you haven't used as of yet, and add up the money, oh my goodness, I think we all would fall out. I know I would if I went through all my unused products, stuff that I haven't even opened yet. Well, maybe I did open it, but I haven't played in it, tried it, swatched it, used it, or anything. Yeah, I'm telling you, shopping your stash is definitely the way to go. So that's a New Year's resolution for myself this year that I probably won't keep, but I'll do my best. Okay, this is another trifling fact, and um, I'm going to be really honest. I like getting little bad kids, like for their parents, and dare their parents to say something to me while speaking to their little bad behind children. Most of the time, it's usually somebody I know, but if I don't know you, I'm still going to kind of chastise your child for being bad. I remember when I had my um, nephew and son, my son and my nephew, my oldest son, and I would take them out places. I used to tell them, if somebody stops to tell you something that I didn't tell you if they had to get on you about something, I'm going to kill you. So I know that just digs into some parents, especially when you're around some parents that you know, they know what their kids are doing, but they don't stop their children from doing it. And you're looking like, is this parent crazy or not or what? I know most of the time we don't say anything, but I'm going to tell you right now, I'll stop that little child. Mm -hmm. Yes, I will. Trifling or not. But you best not stop mine. And if you do, I'm not going to get on you. I'm going to kill them. Now, the next thing I'll say is kind of trifling because it's just the opposite of what I just said. And this one is, I think it's trifling in the sense that I can really, really mind my business when I'm in the street. <laughs> Meaning that there can be something that may go on. Probably doesn't pertain to me, but I know a lot of times people will help stand up, stick up for somebody that's in the street. Sometimes I may do it, but then if I don't know the situation, believe me, I won't do it. I could walk into somebody getting cussed out and looking pitiful. But if I don't know what the situation is, I'm not going to tell that person to stop because as trifling as it may be, maybe they deserved it. I don't know. But then later on, I think to myself, well, I should have said something. I probably should have jumped in. I've done that maybe like once or twice. It's not something that happens all the time because, you know, every time you walk out in the street, you're not always knocked over the head with people who don't know how to act and carry on. But one thing I will tell you for sure, if it's a senior citizen, I, I, I got to get in, in on that. Oh, see, it's a senior citizen or a child, I got to get on get in on that one. But if it's an adult, nah, I just mind my business. And sometimes I think you not need not to mind your business. You need to get in where you fit in. But still, sometimes you got to be careful because, you know, people are crazy. But if we don't help each other, that's why I say it's trifling. Because you got to help people. You got to help people. You got to help people. When I could have been the person to stop all that. And then maybe got shot or got stabbed. This is New York. You know, another thing I think is trifling about myself 
and people get on me about it a lot, I don't answer my phone. Yeah. Sometimes I have to be careful if I'm around a person not to look at my phone and not answer it because then they're probably thinking, yeah, that's what you do when I call you. So I don't do that much in front of certain people. But I don't answer my phone. I have to be ready to want to talk to somebody. You would think that as much as I talk on these videos, you would think, oh, she want to talk all the time. But not necessarily. Oh, man. You call me and I don't feel like being bothered. I will not answer the phone. That's trifling. You should always answer the phone because you never know. That might be somebody telling me, me, <sighs> that I have a long lost relative that's trying to leave me some money. It could be anything. But then again, I do believe in just leave me a message. I'll get back to you. Thank you. Now, this is something that's also trifling for me anyway. Is that when it comes to doing anything, anything, I don't care what it is, I always try to think of a way to do it smarter, never harder. That could be anything. But I'm going to keep it with hair. Let's say hair. Oh my goodness. When I first started with my natural hair, there was so little I wanted to do to my hair, but I wanted it to look great every time I did anything to it. Most of the time it would, but I noticed if I skipped something, didn't do something, my hair paid for it. Mm -hmm. So then I tried to do something, but then eliminate something else. And then I realized there ain't no shortcuts to life. You've got to do the things that you have to do to get where you want to get or the results that you're looking for, right? So I'm trifling in that way because if I can do the least to get the most out of whatever it may be, I'm going to do it. But I'm working on it. I'm going, by the time I'm 55, I, I'm, I'm going to work on that where it won't be even a part of my life. It'll be just non-existence. You watch. If, if you know me in another five years, you'll see that I'm going to work right through that. Definitely. Right through it. Now, this is something I know I'm not alone in. And that is procrastination. I think procrastinate, yeah, it's trifling. I really admire people who can just say, you know, I, I got to do X, Y, and Z. Get up and do X, Y, and Z. It's finished. It's done. And they can move on to elemental P or whatever it is, but it's finished. Oh, I love those people who get information about something they need and the next day they're on it. I can't do that. I don't do that. I procrastinate. I think of 25,000 reasons why I need to do something else before I need to do that. I keep saying it to myself. So what I did was I made a list because um, Flavor Wear did a video. And um, I did, I've been doing this for quite some time. And it helps me keep to what it is that I need to do. Like certain phone calls that I need to make. Which I've always kept a log of calls that I need to make for a day or whatever. But I'll write down the numbers. But then I'll put on my iPad in my note section, make all the calls today. So if I have to make four calls, if I make all four calls, then I can check that off and reward myself with whatever it is I want to reward myself because I made the calls. Not one of the calls, not two of the calls, not three, all four of the calls. One thing gets scratched off my list and I do that and it seems to work for me because I always got a reason, could come up with a reason not to do something. And to do something else. Oh my goodness. Yeah. That is trifling. Procrastination. Because you don't get much done when you procrastinate. You can have 20 things to do. If you keep procrastinating, you might get five done. That's not good. Because the other 15 suffers. Oh, that's another thing I'm going to work on. Now, I may not come back that till I'm about 60. So if you know me when I'm 60, then you'll know that I got over that. But right now... Ooh, procrastination is like the hardest thing to do. Oh my. Yeah, but it's trifling. I just can't help myself. Mm, mm. I should think this was something trifling. I did it from the time I started driving up until the time that I stopped driving regularly. And that is not filling up a car with gas when you know you should. 
Mm-hmm. I used to do that all the time from the time I started driving. I run, when I first started driving, I ran out of gas so many times. When I used to travel to North Carolina and driving down, I would wait till, till the needle was on E and thinking, okay, I think I can go another two, three, four, five, maybe ten miles on E, which sometimes you probably can, but watch is your chance when you want I-95, four o'clock in the morning with three kids sleeping. But that's something I used to do. And then when I would um, rent a car and have to take it back, you know, you have to go get gas. And you know, you have to have the car there at a certain time. Mm-hmm. I'll be, I don't know what it is with me and gas stations. Is it me and gas stations? Or is it me filling up the car with gas station? Or me having to pay all that money when you rent a car? And at that time, gas was much cheaper because we weren't going through this thing now. But still, I don't know. That was a trifling thing. Well, I remember running out of gas so many times. I have to call somebody in my family to come get me. And they like, you stay out there till I get a chance to come get you. That's, that used to be funny. It's in Laurel and Queens, yeah. Mm-hmm. Ooh, child. Ran out of gas, honey. I had to go to the gas station and get gas. And then, ooh, you smelling all that gas. Child, I was trifling with that one, too. I probably, you know, now that I mentioned these 10 trifling facts and more, I probably could come up with some more, but I ain't got time for all that. <laughs> Y'all don't need to know my triflessness. But like I said, I just wanted to keep it really cute and really just fun. So if you have any trifling facts, remember, list them down below because we all want to know what you do that's trifling. We all do something that's trifling. But um, that's it. So I just want to say thank you for some while watching this video. Hopefully I'll see you in the next, and I want you to share and spread love hey cute people subscribe to my channel and check out my last three videos if you missed them also i'm on twitter tumblr and instagram as ebony girl speaks facebook i'm ebony girl speaks naturally